In this video, we're going to focus on how we can give with our ChartKS data labels plugin the color on our data labels, and they will be matched with the bar color, or more specifically, on the border color. As you can see here, this color matches this border, that one, and every index or data set have their own colors, and everything is unique. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to explore how to match the data labels color with the bars in Chart.js. So to do this, first of all, we need to get our default code. So the default code you can find in Chart.js3.com getting started. And this link is also in the description box. Scroll down here, copy this chunk of code. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains the code or the JavaScript of that code. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this in here and then once I did that, I'm going to cut this out, put in here the title, save this, refresh, and there we are. So now we have a basic bar chart. And what I want to do now is to implement the data labels plugin and then start to show those values at the very top here. So to do that, I first need to go to cdnjs.com and search for the chart.js plugin data labels library. And once we have this, we can get here the latest version, which is version 2.0.0. We're going to grab this here. Just for simple, just copy the script tag. All right. Then we're going to scroll down here and going to add it up here. So where I'm going to add it is just after the chart.js library. And the reason why is because this chart.js plugin is dependent on certain values of chart.js library. So this must load first before this or else you get an error. So if I save this and refresh, nothing really happens. And the reason why nothing happens is because we didn't activate the plugin yet. So that's what we're going to do now. What I'm going to say in here, we can just say here in options, comma, plugins. And then I'm going to select your chart data labels. And once we type in this, this is basically a, a constant variable which is built in the chart.js plugin data labels uh, uh, library basically. So it's in here and make sure you pay your attention on the capital C, capital D and capital L. If I save this and refresh, now we have our data labels being shown. So what I want to do next is, well, what we could do here is just to specify it specifically. So imagine here, I want to copy this. We have two data sets here. But now they're being shown both. And what I want to do here is I want this one to be shown at the very top. So to do that, what I'm going to do here, that is the first one here, comma, I'm going to say here, the data labels object. And we are allowed to do it like this because we have created this data label object based on this specific JavaScript library that we just added. So what I'm going to do here is the following. Well, what I want to do here, first of all, is I want to put the position at the very top. So I'm going to say here, anchor, and the anchor will be end. If I save that and refresh, you can see here now, it's starting to put it more up at the very top of it. But we're not done yet. So then I want to say here, align, and then align should be end as well. If I save that, refresh, now you can see here, it goes at the very, very top. And let me just remove the tooltip because I know the tooltip is distracting. So here are two plugins, tooltip, and then the enable. Enable equals false. Make sure you have a comma here down. Save this, refresh. There we are. So now no more tooltip. That's better. So we have here 18. But what I want to do now is give this a color depending on what we have here. For example, a border color. We want to assign that color there. So how do we do this? Well. For that, we need to work with the callback functionality. And basically, we can do this also for the color. And in the color, what we're going to do here, callback, we can just say here, and we do here a variable. It could be chart, that's fine. Or you can even remove these parentheses if we only have one single value. So then, if I do here just a console log, and just say chart, save that, refresh, open up the developer tab and you can see here now we get all of these objects specifically for this data set here and to make sure that the, i am talking about the same data set i'm going to change the numbers of the other data set here i'll just divide everything by two so 0 0.5 4.5 and then here six 
1.5, 4.5. Save that. Refresh. All right. So now we have them. You can see here all of this is still considered in data set index of zero. So what we really need here now is basically we go in here and we're going to grab here the specific item. So what we're going to look for is, well, let me double check here. We have the data set. Oh, we can even look at it here, by the way. So we just go to the data set. And then in the data set, we can see here we have the data labels, but we also have here the border color. And then we have here the specific array. So what I want to do first is grab the border color. So how do we get there? We get there from dataset.bordercolor. So what I'm going to do here now is another console log. Let me say chart.dataset.border color with capital C. If I save this, refresh, you can see here now we get the entire array. But I don't want the entire array. I want the specific value matching with this. So how do we do this? Well, if you look here at this one, and this is basically the console chart, you can see we get two very important information. We get the data set, which is index 5, and we get the data, oh, sorry, the data index, which is index 5, and we get here the data set index. So in this case, the data set index will not matter much for us because we will have only this one, and JavaScript by default knows exactly when we have this code here on which data set we're working with. However, we need to know the data index to get the specific color here. So let's start to work on that. And then we're going to grab this data index. If I do this data index, so chart.dataindex, refresh, and there we are. All right. So now if I change this color with the index of whatever we have here in the chart data index, we should see here now the specific color we get depending on the index or the data index we have. So now you already figured out, all we have to do here is just do a return. And the return here will be what exactly? This item here. Save this and then refresh and there you are. So you can see this works. So you might wonder, well, what about if I want to change this one here as well? So how do we do that? Well, what I'm going to do here, just because we have this structure already here, we can just copy all of this, uh, make sure we have the data labels entire. All right, so I'm going to copy this. I'm just going to put it in here. Normally, we could then do it in the options, but for now, I'll just leave it like this, but I want to make this unique, so I want to keep the number still in the center. Well, this one have it there. If I save that, refresh. So the colors are changing, but of course, what happened if I change these colors as well? And then here, uh, let's change that. And then here again, and then here maybe 250. And let's save that. Refresh, and you can see here now, because it is based on the border color, remember. We get this nine is blackish. We get the six that is the same color. The three is now green. The purple one or the 4.5 is purple and etc etc so this one here is probably a very transparent or not really transparent a very light color uh, cyan blue I guess etc etc so this is basically how you can play around making separate colors for your data sets or data labels specifically so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to know more about the data labels plugin I would highly recommend you to check out my specific Chart.js Data Labels plugin series here, covering many different items, everything you need to know about the data labels.